Morning, everyone. Uh, so yeah, I'm Naveen Rao, the former CEO now of uh, uh, Nirvana. Uh, we were recently acquired by Intel, um, sort of uh, going through the integration process now. But uh, there'll be some really cool things to come uh, from that, from that uh, transaction. All right, so I'm going to start kind of at the very, ba very basics here and sort of talk about a different set of things. We've, we've heard from Jan and Gary and, and uh, Aparna about some of the uh, more algorithmic side and application side. What I want to talk about are sort of the low-level primitives and some of the challenges with those, and then also what you can enable from an industry perspective. And this is kind of some of the things I've learned um, through Nirvana and inter interacting with customers uh, through that. So we've, we've seen you know, multiple talks already on, on what deep learning is, but I think the key to take away here is that it discovers features from data automatically. And this is in supervised or unsupervised context or reinforcement learning context. And this seems like a subtle point, but I think it's actually one of the most important. This is the thing, to me, that actually seems intelligent. It's the part that um, the ability to find structure in data is really the important and impactful thing when it comes to industry. And we've seen these diagrams before where we are able to decompose data into constituent features. Turns out many different kinds of data have this sort of structure to it. It's not that the distribution of data is just flat. It's usually in some sort of low dimensional structure that we need to uncover through some sort of method. And you know, we started out with images here. We've also done it with speech. Um, we've done it with genomics. We've done it with financial time series. It's, it's really interesting to me that we had this guess early on that, hey, maybe these methods can actually do these kinds of things. And it turns out when you start applying it, Pretty simply, actually, you, you find this structure uh, implicitly within the data. And you know, clearly, we've seen this happen already in, in uh, speech and in image, image data. And we're actually beyond human performance now in image nets. Uh, and so I think one of the, the big industry impacts we're seeing from deep learning is really the ability to automate and scale human thought labor. Right? Um, Industrial Revolution was all about scaling human physical labor, and now we can actually take tasks that humans have to train on. Right? If I'm a, a radiologist, I need to learn how to find uh, tumors and, and MRIs. Uh, we can actually train machines to do that, and not just do it once um, every you know, five minutes or something, but do it uh, in a matter of milliseconds or even uh, faster in, in the future. So this is sort of, the, in, in my mind, akin to the next Industrial Revolution, something that's uh, uh, going to lead to big advances in industry and, and much, much greater efficiencies and access to uh, uh, the latest, greatest technologies. So I look at it as like, uh, you know, Archimedes said, you know, give me a long lever and I'll move the earth. Um, now our earth, our world is data, right? We have so much data in the world, we can't really uh, uh, figure out how to, what to do with it at this point. Um, I think we did an estimate of if you took 100 megabytes of data, of all data, and divided it up to every man, woman, and child on the planet. It just froze the world today. It would take something like 10 years to get through everything we have right now. And you know, obviously, that rate is accelerating. And you know, in 10 years' time, we're going to have 100x the data we have today. So clearly, we need something. And so what, is that, what does that uh, lever and fulcrum look like? I believe it's deep learning. 